Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Dread TV. I am J Lab and this is Football Merger 2021, the Youth Academy Challenge Save with Siena. We've got two games today, one in the first round of the Coppa Italia and the other in the Coca-Cola Super Cup final against Juventus. So, two big games. We've had just two matches this last match. But if you like these kind of videos, be sure to like and share the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know what do you think we're going to do against Napoli and Juventus before we see the matches. Are we going to beat both teams and get our first piece of silverware or are we going to be knocked out in both competitions or are we going to get through the Coppa Italia but lose to the final or vice versa? I'm curious to hear your response to this so let me know down in the comments below. But yes, we've had two games since the last minute. We've also had a few players out on loan so let's cover that quickly. The first game we have was away from home against Sampdoria in the league and we took the lead up to the second he scored inside just two minutes. A goal from Brunette who's playing as a DM in this game gave us the lead. But unfortunately, just 11 minutes later, we could see an equaliser and I was thinking, oh, we're going to drop points against Sampdoria because Flavio Roma, who moved from Roma to join them, scored. Fortunately for us, we get back in front after Polino gets his first goal this season with that effort. And then in the 94th minute of the game, we absolutely make sure we care off because Vitino took the corner, gets the ball back, goal, good finish from him, 3-1 on the night and a very comfortable performance where at times it wasn't looking very comfortable but once we got the second goal we just felt like a much better team and it just made me feel a lot more confident, you know, so a good situation to be in nonetheless. The last game we had was at home against Inter Milan and we took the lead inside for 28 minutes after John Abbott finds Vitino who scores the second two games. To give us the lead, unfortunately, three minutes later, Inter Milan scored from this corner and it was enough for them to get an equalising goal and to secure a share of the spoils. So disappointing we couldn't win this game, but at the end of the day, we kind of deserved at least a point. We were a better team. The fact that we couldn't get the winner was a slight disappointment and quite frankly, I was a bit annoyed that we couldn't beat Inter Milan for the third, no, fourth straight game running against them. What this has done for us though has left us in fourth place ahead of AC Milan due to results between teams after we beat them early in the season. Still a great memory that is to beat them 1-0. They've only lost by one goal in all their six defeats so far which is very impressive to say the least. And we are definitely a team that looks like they can be challenging for European football. If we had translated some of our draws into victories we would be higher up the table and maybe even challenging for the league title which for me is very very promising indeed. But unfortunately, we can't do that. What we do have, though, is a game against Napoli, who are in 14th place in the league. No wins in the last four matches in the league. And no, my luck, a game we're going to lose. So hopefully we don't lose this, as Inter Milan had to take a winner an extra time against Doria. And Vicenza have knocked out to our opposition in Genoa. Few and out by the hands of Atalanta. So if we win, we take on Atalanta. So a difficult game in the best of times. A team we generally struggle against. So I wouldn't be surprised if our journey ends in the quarterfinals this year. But hopefully we can win against Napoli to knock them out in this stage of the competition. I mean, the fact we got to this stage of competition again is nice. I don't like getting knocked out early in the first round because it means that, you know, we're not anywhere close as good enough as we could be. But Napoli is a good team. We have the game against the Juventus as well. I'm going to be very cautious with the players I use. So I'm going to go with a full lineup because I want to go through to the next round. But at the same time, I want to beat Juventus. We do have Calandra suspended, so he won't be available for this match, but will be available at full strength for the next match. So hopefully, we can win. But either way, our love is this. Ferteriti, Di Luigi, Polino, Brunette, Ishan, Ayalu, Francensi, Disegni, Viatino, Obot, and Ayafrat. So... Let's see if we do, shall we? So we've literally saw no highlights in the first half and gotta be honest, slightly disappointed. Yes, we were the better team on average ratings by 0.03, but we had less shots than we they did and our XG was also lower. So a little concerning they managed to get that high of an XG out of two shots. Slightly concerning. Okay, first highlight of the game and it's literally after I've made some changes because I was not happy with how things were going. They're trying to pass out nicely. They've not been as good in the second half. They've had just one shot to our three, which isn't a lot, but we got the ball back. Here's Corella now. And can we do something from this situation? We need to make a move. Corella does room for Viatin to make a run. He doesn't make the run. Viatin was holding back a bit more than I was expecting him to, but okay. Polino finds Viatin. Here's Di Luigi. What a ball. Oh, but what a save as well. They have a free kick. 
Hopefully we can defend against this. Oh, chance it's just over for Galette. Okay. Look at the average ratings. We've not been the best in this game so far, but Corella finds Lucievo. Here's Corella. He cut inside, is doing so. He's been come down. It's a good tackle, so it's not anything I can complain about. But that ball, if I was the Napoli manager, I'd be furious about that because that was absolutely nothing. Why do that? I think, unless it was a clearance, I was hoping to find a player if I was in that situation. But here we are. Crosone. Here's Viatina. This is a game we can win, I think. We can definitely win. We've got a few tired legs out there. Margiotta cuts inside. John Abbott. Viatina goes alone. And go play lacrosse. Has done. Margiotta scores. We have our lead. We have our lead. And if this goes through, this is actually the very first time we get to the quarterfinals in consecutive seasons. I never thought that's actually a statistic I'd have to bring up. But I've never gotten to the quarterfinal in this competition in consecutive years. It's always been... First round, then maybe progressing further, then first round again. But 1-0, late on, can we hold on? Charles, right at the death. I'd rather not have to watch them get an equaliser, but if we can hold on to this and just get a shot out of ourselves, this would be pleasant. Here's Lucievo. We've got time and space. They've got two players up front, strikers now. Lucievo, Corella. We should be getting a chance here. Ayalu. Oh, Bart. Oh, my days. He should have got... That's a good chance to make a kill off and get two, but... It should be it. We are through to the next round. We win 1-0. Good result at the end of the day. That's what we needed. That's really what we needed. But yes, we're through to the next round. We have Atalanta in the next round. And we'll be playing them next week. Literally next week. Oh, my days. We're gonna be, it's so. It's just an annoying part about the season. About this draw. It's every Wednesday. So we have no league games for a while. So I don't know when we get the next league game. Because it's looking very congested all of a sudden in February, January time. I hate this part of the year. I really do. Oh dear. Anyway, let's go to the Super Cup final and see how we can do, shall we? And yes, we had to rearrange this because it's now being put on the 5th, I think. Yeah, the 5th, which could be another game anyway, so slightly concerning for them. And also, Ifrat is now considered a good Serie A player, so nice to know this guy is now considered a good Serie A player, which is very useful. It's a shame he's inconsistent and doesn't get a lot of goals, so if he can fix that part of his game, that'd be great. I mean, he's underperforming his XG, that tells me a lot about him. Also, Franzenzi is actually progressing quite nicely and I think could be a very strong player for us. I really do. Yeah, the selecting now considered a good Serie A player as well. So our squad is definitely getting better and better as we develop them and give them game time. It really is promising that we can do that as they are also getting really good in their training. So this is stuff you love to see. So before we go on and have our match against Juventus, a team we've lost four times against in the last four matches... We're going to talk about the players that have left us since we last met as well. For Schufer, we definitely sold for under his value, 25 grand. But I'm going to be honest, given he's only now worth 12.75 grand and he's only got a half year on his contract for some bizarre reason, I don't think it's the end of the world. I'm just going to wonder if you were Medena, did you just overpay for a player that is not worth the value and may not even get you to the position you want to be? And that is promoted to Serie B after... Been in Super B just two years ago. We did sell Rossi to Hellas Verona, who have yet to play him so far in his stint with them. He only just joined in this month, so maybe that's a thing that can happen. But Hellas Verona signed in for half a year as well. They've got great facilities, mind you, so that could be a very interesting save. And as you can see, I think Roma are going to go up in Super B next year, and I think I'm going to go up. If Roma don't get promoted from Super B this year with the point tally they have already, it's kind of a very big bottle job it really is we let Anders Jensen go out on loan to Academica he hasn't played yet he only started his loan literally this week I think it was this week I'm certain of it yeah he, he signed the eight so he's been there for 10 days he's only there for half a year if he doesn't get game time we can literally record him anyway so yeah that, that sounds pretty really, he can get some game time he was playing what he's played a few times for us this year twice on the bench so it made sense to let him go out on loan we've also let Danny Chapman Go out on loan to Toronto. He's yet to play, but he's only just joined on the 12th. So this would be his first game if he plays in this weekend. So hopefully he gets his first team football sooner rather than later. That being said, though, we're now actually going to do our game against Juventus. A cup final in China. Why Why is Spain and Italy so weird with these things? Why not host the own country? I know it's probably more for more money, but for goodness sake. Imagine if we had a Chinese player. This would have made us overwhelm from this. And they would have tried to make sure we won. Probably not actually, but you get you get the joke. Either way though, we're gonna do this. We're actually changing this a little bit. 
a bot is going to come down here and we're going to have Corella start as a complete remake because he can literally play there. And I think he's okay in that position. He's actually had bids from Sandoria and that's it. That coming up to 10 million. I'm rejecting all of them because I want to keep him. Di Luigi is wanted by quite a big clubs now. Everton, Newcastle, West Brom, Wolves, all wings clubs. So the Premier League wants him and I don't, I can't get this still. What I'm going to do though is hope for the best here. I think we can win. We've got Margiotta from the bench if we need him to come on and do what he did last time out. I think he can do it, but you never know. In fact, I might actually just... So I just I'm going to keep this as it is right now. So the lineup for the cup final will be Verteriti, Di Luigi, Polino, Brunette, Carella, Ayalu, Calandra, Desegni, Viatina, Obot, and I, I think we've got a strong squad here, and I think we can win. So let's see how we do, and hopefully get our first major piece of silverware so far. Yes, I'm calling the Super Cup a major piece of silverware. I have not won a trophy in 17 years. It's been an almost an entire generation. Can you blame me for being desperate? They have a chance inside the first minute of the game. I'm concerned already that we're going to concede. And we, we've literally conceded inside one minute. Okay. Um, We've not won against you versus in nine matches. This is not going as well as I hope it would. And this is a side why I genuinely thought would be the bare side. So... The right-hand side of the pitch, I thought, would not be our weak point. Apparently, defensively, we are weak. I mean, he had too much space in the first place, and Di Luigi does not even bother going for it, but even so, why not you have inside a single minute? They have a free kick. We've had some chances. It's just a bit annoying here. But Vinicius goes for goal. It's over the bar. We've had chances. We just haven't seen them yet. Okay, so Juventus has been the bad team. And we've just seen their two chances. We've had chances because of our XG has been quite high, but we've just not seen them yet. And that's disappointing to me. It really is. Gonna break the team for it because I'm disappointed with how they've been doing. We've also got to make some moves sooner or later because of fitness concerns as well, which is never nice. And I hate this calendar year. Oh, he's also in Jets. Plains a few things why he's already tired. So Luis Chivas is going to come on and hopefully that will not be a major concern for us. We have a chance, maybe. There's a throwing for us. Di Luigi finds Lucievo, who is still going. I didn't think he'd get through, but here's Corella in the middle. Vitina, Ifrat, goal. Equalizer. We have a lifeline here. We did this in the last game, too. We got an equalizer very early on in the second half. And hopefully, this time, this will not be a false alarm for us. As John Bot's been terrible, a 6 1 2 rating might come off in a bit, but. And he crosses her inside the 59th minute of the game. But Viatina knocks it down to Ifrat, who's got an open goal to aim at, effectively. And one all. Good chance, maybe. As ever throw, it's been, well, kept by Juventus. It's out wide to Vinicius. It's in the middle. Brunette, for a second, may be terrified. Saka is about to make a throw, and hopefully we can defend. We've actually just seen Bombelli come on from the bench and he's got three goals against us in the last three matches so hopefully we can defend against him this time and not concede a double like we did in the last game. Here he is now, Bombelli, Vinicius. Can we stop him from making the cross? Good defender from Corella, he's lost out. Still going, blocking still. It's tight and uh, Melo scores. Vinicius is just annoying. I can't blame Corella for that because Corella was doing his absolute damage to try and stop him playing the cross scene. He did everything he could have ever done apart from getting the ball away. Like, literally, he could not get the ball away for whatever reason. It just kept bobbing back and forth between the two of them and eventually the cross came in. Okay, so they got a goal kick now. We can surely get ourselves an equalizer at some point. Ishan's made a mistake. I've made a mistake by playing Ishan on the pitch, I think. They played the cross. Luigi gets the ball away, and that's a chance, and that's concerning. Break the team now. Come on. They got a free kick. I think if they score, I'm just going to go very attacking if hit the bar. I'm going to go very attacking. Mistake, I know it's probably going to be, but I'm desperate for the second goal. We're going to demand more, and we need this equalizer to get us back in this. Unlike last time, we're actually holding on. We didn't hold on as long as we did last time, but hopefully if we get a second goal... This can make everything better. Is Sean, please find a pot. Oh my god. Okay, Paulina finds Brunette. I thought we were going to get the ball away, but Brunette. Fazenzi, can he do something? Ayalu. I for a chance. What a save. Oh, it's not even a bad miss. It's just a really good save, I think. It says a, it's a sitter, but every one of my left wingers has been really bad today. But okay, is Sean, get the ball. Can we do something with this, please? Ishan, you can do something with this. Is he actually... What role is he playing in? 
complete wingback. Let's not have no complete wingback. Play wingback on support. I should have done this earlier, but let's play a few things while he's doing so badly. Pro for us. Di Luigi. Lucievo. Back heel. Good back, actually. Here's the Sean. Ayalu. Finds Lucievo. has been blocked. That's a disappointing moment, isn't it? But what can you do? We have got a chance. We're still very attacking. I'm literally desperate to keep hold of this. Uh, Ferreira with a chance to play it across. Don't give away a penalty. Bombelli plays it across. It's not the best pass. Vitina gets to that, but he's still kept the ball away. And Bombelli, it's over, but we're going to lose anyway. Ah, oh, it's always Juventus. It's always Juventus. I hate playing against Juventus just because this is always what I have to see. Every final I've had, it's been this. Juventus winning the trophy, lifting the trophy. We can never beat Juventus. It's always 2 1 2. Oh, if only we could actually beat them for crying out loud. I am going to watch for this because the more I do this, the more I can suffer, right? And the more I have to watch this, the more I have to suffer in the long run. So. When we eventually get the trophy that we deserve, like a Coppa Italia, the league, or something like that, once we eventually get it, this will be fuel for the fire, effectively. So when we eventually get our trophy that I think we deserve, we tried our hardest, but we just couldn't hold on. There's a few mistakes. There's a few players that weren't performing. I know Corella's got 6.2, but the sec I don't think I can blame him for the second goal. It was just unfortunate how tenacious the player was. But yes, we've lost to the final and we're going to end this here. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys are like and share this video and that you will subscribe to the channel. It really does help me a lot. I mean, we've got 1.11 million for being here. So if we get to the final again, then maybe we can do something. But it's just unfortunate. We really are. Hopefully this means in the future we can actually win it. But anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.